Well, to get us started on this uh, lovely twofer, uh, we, we're, we're looking at an article by Raw Story. As you may know, uh, Texas Governor Greg Abbott is doing a political stunt, which frankly is endangering uh, the safety of the United States. Russian propagandists are uh, cheering it and hoping that it causes civil war because uh, the Ruskies never let the Cold War go. Sorry, you guys lost. Ah, I'm not sorry. You were evil at the time, and so were we. Both should have lost. Anyway, they're happy about it, and uh, part of that, part of that political stunt being done at the border includes a trucker convoy. You remember in Canada how there was that trucker convoy that blockaded a city, kept it hostage for a while? Remember that? They were trying to do that. Uh, uh, in the U.S. as well, except the right's own uh, conspiracy theories have made it fall flat. Here's the details. God's Army Border Truck Convoy falls flat amid right-wing honeypot paranoia, according to a report. Excuse me, this article... Uh, is by Sky Palma from Raw Story. The God's Army trucker convoy, they chose to call themselves, uh, that's headed to the southern border in a take our border back campaign, has been decimated by conspiracy theories that it's an FBI front. Vice News reported Monday. So, <clears throat> for context, uh, the January 6th. Uh, insurrection resulted in a lot of arrests. And because uh, these folks are not capable of understanding that they have done wrong, uh, they, part, of, part of their explanation for that is that the FBI made us do evil. It should be noted that if, if the things you want to do are indistinguishable from uh, uh, an entrapment scheme, you might want to rethink the things you want. The line of trucks that departed Virginia Beach Monday had just a few dozen participants, much less than the 700,000 organizers promised. Significantly less. According to Vice's report, the less-than-stellar turnout was likely due to theories circulating in right-wing circles that the convoy could be a PSYOP, or honeypot, trap laid by the federal government to coax people into committing violence. No, 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 they're making them... I, I don't like that I'm that sounding vaguely Southern what I started doing. Uh, no, 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 they say. They're, they're making that uh, disruption of everybody's lives too tempting. They're making that awful thing I want to do sound like too much fun. Must be a trick. I have three former associates doing lengthy prison sentences because of the January 6th setup. Oh, look, one person wrote on Telegram, I know firsthand, even if they don't have charges they can pin on you, they will make some up. It's like they think they're left-wingers. It's wild. One of the organizers of the convoy, former military commander Pete Chambers, notable that he is a former military commander, disappointing that he's a former military commander, even gave credence to the conspiracy theory in a video message to supporters, telling FBI agents that if they start going after these people, try to trap them, you're going to be found out. There's too much momentum on the other side, bro, so just let it go. Stop working for that in entity. They're just going to tear you down. They're going to use you like a Kleenex, just like they did to me, Chambers said. From Vice News, organizers of the convoy, who include QAnon world influencers and anti-vaxxers, characterized the demonstration as an army of God and have spent the last couple of days putting out PR fires and trying to distance themselves from any possible future unrest or bad optics. No, we are not militia-friendly, wrote Christina Holbrook, a.k.a. Thought Criminals, who is an admin for the Convoy's Texas Telegram channel. Holbrook was also asked... Uh, Holbrook has also asked participants... Gosh... Holbrook has also asked participants to leave their long guns at home. Let's talk about this for a second. 
you don't want to get arrested for doing a crime, the easiest way uh, to, to accomplish that is to not do a crime. You were going to legally participate in a protest. Um, you generally, not true always, I'll admit that, but you generally don't have to worry about getting arrested for doing something illegal. Usually when you're arrested at a protest, it is because that was your intention. What you were trying to do. Now, lefties tend to find when they're arrested that a, a gun winds up as being logged in their possession. One that doesn't have their fingerprints, one that they've never seen before, one that they did not buy, one that they uh, did not bring there, tends to wind up in their possession somehow. Or a little bit of drugs or fill in the blank. But, by and large, if you're arrested at a protest, it's generally because that was the idea. That's called civil disobedience. These folks, however, these folks, in order to maintain the madness that they support, uh, have had to convince themselves that people went to the January 6th insurrection and acted totally lawfully and then got tricked. They got tricked into uh, uh, doing an insurrection. And so now when they're trying to organize a big protest, they find themselves paranoid that it'll happen again. Good. Good. Nothing to do here. That maybe ask uh, those, if you know any, who were going to participate, who are now no longer going to participate. Ask them, ask them if they think that this says anything about the things they believe. You think you could be goaded so easily to do something worthy of getting arrested. Were you, were you sure what you were going there for in the first place? And you weren't. 